Cat Care. Um, now for something completely different. I am uh, I'm heading out to uh, I'm here at Champion Raceway in Medford, and I am going to see if I can't get the uh, Mighty Crown Vic to uh, make a couple of passes. Ought to be interesting, eh? Something to do. Um, I don't know what. I just got a wild hair to kind of kind of do that. So uh, what the hell? I said, what the hell? We'll see what we can do. And uh, we're coming up to the gate here. I haven't. Uh, I've never. I've never made a pass at this track before. And uh, so I'm gonna kind of see what the lay of the land is here. I've been to I've been here a couple times spectating, but I have never you know I never made any passes down the track so and of course I don't know if you can see it but on the left side here we have what was used to be Camp White military shooting range and they do occasionally have events there at 600 yards, military style. And uh, I've, I've done uh, I've done that a couple of times. It's been a while. It's been a couple of years since I've done that. Uh, who knows? Maybe I'll uh, maybe I'll do that again sometime this summer if they have those again. So I got to see what we got going on here. How you doing? Hi. Is that it? That's it. Well, I'm going to take it. Oh, that's pretty clever right there. I like it. Yeah? I'm going to race the Mighty Crown Vic. Do it. All right, sir. Thanks, brother. Well, it's still a little early, guys. And uh, there's the Mighty Crown Vic. The car is so darn fast, the paint won't stay on it. But uh, people are showing up. So this ought to uh, be good. There's a guy in a ZL1 Camaro. Be curious to see what that runs. And if you look, that's Mount McLaughlin off in the distance there. I've really seen a view out here, but uh, it ought to be interesting to see what happens today. So it's a pretty nice uh, looking Chevelle, pretty snappy. He's, uh, this guy happens to be a resident up at the Rogue Valley Manor where I work and he's gonna take and get his Chevelle dyno today on a, a portable dynamometer but uh, God he did whoever did the work on it it looks like they did a beautiful job on this thing beautiful paint pretty snappy ride right here be curious to see what kind of numbers it pushes
looks like somebody's got a 68 Cougar there. And this is a uh, Grand National right here. These things can be pretty terrifying, especially for a little six cylinder. Need a plumber, not a mechanic. guys it looks like I ran a 1703 83 miles an hour pretty lousy reaction time 0.629 but what the hell it's the first time I ever did that with this car so not a bad place to start Okay boys, we're staging up. I don't want to get into the water. I had to turn my traction control off, you know, because the... Oh man, they both red lit.
had a 439 reaction time that was a little better and that was a 17.037 83 miles an hour she's consistent I'll give her that but not much more Head yeah, boys heading up for my third pass of the night Hopefully we can make it good. How about this one? 321 reaction time, not too bad. Got a little slower though, 1742, 81 miles an hour. Reaction time, about cut my reaction time in half for my first run though, so that ain't too bad. Anyways, I had fun guys. I enjoyed, I enjoyed the shit out of that. Day at the races.